What up, everybody? Welcome to the Bourbon Buzz and Ballin' Podcast. That's Colby. I'm Dutt. And this is Rate That Shit. Yeah, so last week we did a, a Southern Distilling Company Paragon Series, which is their We Did Bourbons. We did their Bottled and Bond version. Yep. So this week we're coming back with their single barrel version. And all their single barrels are done at cask strength. So they can vary anywhere from, say, 107 to this one here is 113.2. So this one's one of their probably, you know, they barrel at 120 proof. So right. you're going to lose a little. Um, but 113 is pretty, pretty healthy. Pretty stout. Pr pretty good. Pretty good. So why don't you tell everybody what our rating system is, and then I'll tell a little bit more about this, uh, sure this Southern Distilling Company. So if you're listening... I'm going to guide you through. If you're watching, you can see the actual rating system behind us. Uh, we do one through four scale here. One is our lowest level. We don't like to give out too many ones. I mean, for the most part, not many bourbons earn a one. No, We've had a it's, few. It's got to be pretty shitty. Five? Yeah, five of them. Five of them. So one is our brown bag. Um, two, it's, it's getting better. Two for us is a mixer. Now, now a two sounds sounds low, but a two could honestly be your standard everyday drinker, you know, that you like to make your old fashions with, or or Manhattans or whatever you like to drink. We've had about a dozen twos. A dozen twos. As it's getting better, we call that on the rocks. So it might be like a high proof bourbon that you want to dilute with a with a rock or something. Um, and then last but not least, number four, the tried and true. We call that one neat, and uh, Colby and I like to drink ours neat as much as possible in a Glen Cairn. That's our our way of drinking our bourbon and, and smelling and tasting our bourbon. Yep. So we've had ten of those. Yeah, we've we've, we've rated ten to be neat, and we're we're, we're we've been pretty. We, fair. we have to we've be been. very impressed to to give it a neat. Yeah, because our usually our, our our biggest category that we rate them in is is three, and we've had. Uh, 28 of those so and of course as always you know economics does play a little yeah a little role in this yeah if, we, if we're kind of on the fence whether we want to give it a two or a three or a four and if we're between a two and a three and it's an expensive bourbon right we're gonna give it a two because because you can find some good bourbons that that don't cost as much so yeah we will factor in the cost occasionally but usually we let the bourbon speak for itself and we go on taste but uh, now this is a local bourbon to us. This is this is distilled in Statesville, North Carolina, which is close, mm -hmm. forty minutes away from us. So Colby, tell them they're tell they're them a young it. they're a young distilling company. They've uh, been there about nine years. They started in twenty fourteen, started bottling in twenty seventeen. So they've got a lot of their four year stuff has, has been you know repeating. Uh, not quite to the seven year stuff or the ten year stuff. They did have a 10 year that was bottled at another location in their rye. Um, but they, I had from, that. you did, I had but that. from this location right now, currently only the four year stuff is coming out of this location. Uh, like you mentioned, they're in Statesville, North Carolina. They, uh, the Southern distilling company, real nice staff. Uh, they got a bar there. You can go in there and have some cocktails. They got a little, meeting area where you can sit on the couches and just you know shoot the shit and drink some bourbon yeah and a nice tour very, very open tour very yeah i mean they let you drink the white dog they let I you see. try the mash you uh, dig your hands in the mash and feel uh, the mash. get some corn on the cob <laughs> yeah man it was it was a really good yeah. tour yeah they're wanting to start getting into events um like weddings and and stuff like that and and we're even talking to them about, you know, doing a podcast there. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully maybe this summer when, when the weather's real nice, we'll, we'll go up there and do a podcast up there. So, uh, anyway, like I said, last week we did the bottle and bond. This week we're doing the single barrel. And this one was aged at least four years, 113.2 proof. Uh, this one's going to be about $10 more than the bottled and bond. Right. Uh, Basically, they kind of stair step theirs. They've got their just their Kentucky straight. It's a 92 proof. It's fifty dollars. They got their hundred proof bottle and bond. That's sixty dollars. This cast strength single barrel. It's seventy dollars. But they're all priced where they should be, in my opinion. And today's market, I think so. I mean, yeah. 
uh, and for obviously quality. I mean, I, I expect this one to be good. So this one was just like last week's with the 70% corn, 16 wheat, and 14 barley. Now you should get, this one is actually supposed to be a little bit different aroma and note than, than last week's. This one's supposed to be a sweet and woody with white pepper. Mm, it's supposed to be what you smell. Pretty accurate, man. It's, it's sweet on the nose. Yeah. Um, a little, a little oaky for me. A little sweet. I'm little getting oaky. a little vanilla, and I get that peppery on the on, on the, the on the end of it. Know, yeah, it almost makes it. you want to sneeze. <laughs> mm, yeah, I get the peppery. Let me. I gotta have a now, taste. Now the taste, right. the taste is supposed to be sweet mint, vanilla bean, and cardamom. Okay. Okay, you're not even gonna ask me what the hell is cardamom. I know what cardamom is. <laughs> I did. It's like rose. It's like a rose of uh, it, floral. Well, it's it it is a spice that's made from. I had to look it up. I'm acting like I'm smart or something right now, but I'm really not because I had no. I was like, what the fuck is cardamom? <laughs> <laughs> are you allowed to say that word? Yeah, we are. Okay, it's our podcast. We say Damn. what we want to say. Um. So anyway. I had to look it up, and it's a, it is a spice that's made from the seeds of multiple different plants. Right, and it's supposed to be similar to like a nutmeg or an allspice mm. or a cinnamon. I get so. kind of like a rosy flavor from cardamom because there's a there's a chef out in West Lincoln mm -hmm. that's he uses it a lot. He uses a lot of cardamom. Okay. Yeah. No, I had no I had no I, mm -hmm. I'd never even heard of it before. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm getting, it's, it's good, man. It's definitely stout. I got I got sidetracked on the cardamom. I got to have another taste. <laughs> it's definitely a little spicier and a little bit hotter. Yeah. Than, than the bottle and bond one. It's not quite as, not yeah, quite you can, as smooth. You can almost feel that cast strength. Mm -hmm. Um. You definitely know you're getting that extra 13 proof. That's right. From this one, it's it's got, you know, but it finishes, it finishes smooth. Um, I I like it. I mean, I do like it. Um, I I think I I feel like I like the bottle and bond better. Yeah. Um, it's still a solid three for me. I was gonna say I was at a four with the bottle and bond, and you were with a three. Yeah. Um, but I think. This is still, yeah, I agree with you, this is a three, but like I think with you last week, you were on the high end of the three with the bottle and bond, and now you're probably towards the middle. Yeah, definitely. It's just a solid three for me. I mean, I, I still love their products. I mean, their flavors are really good. I'm excited about the, uh, the seven-year, mm -hmm. ten-year release that's going to come up yeah. um, soon. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to growing old with statesful um excuse me southern star just being so close you know we can always get this product this is right very easy for us to get maybe a little harder for some of our clients you know or, or our watchers that are further out mm -hmm. yeah I, I i haven't you know really looked to see you know when i go to a florida or a georgia um liquor store to see if it's in there yet well, I, I would imagine it is because i mean they told us how much production they're man, making on, i'm telling you on tiktok watching other tiktok bourbon reviews and uh some of the bigger known guys that are doing bourbon reviews and girls for that matter um southern star is gaining a lot of well, notoriety they're, do, they're doing a lot of these competitions and they're winning awards their platinums their mm -hmm. golds um you know i don't know if you noticed uh, behind the not behind, beside the bar, like if you were looking at their bar over to the right, they had a cabinet that had a lot of their awards in that mm. cabinet. I think you were too busy drinking at the bar. You didn't. Yeah, I was too busy staring <laughs> at the bird cage with that ten year rye in there, yeah. and that was that was really good. Well, it was funny because I was talking to um, Pat, and I hear this gong. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the bird. And I was gone. like, I was like. What the hell was the gong? And no, he said anytime somebody gets one of the, the the ten year. Oh, okay. They do. Yeah, it was a twenty five dollar pour. Yeah, but it was a two ounce pour. Okay. So I mean, because yeah, I think they did gong it also for that birthday. But I think the birthday party got one of the they did the ten years. Yeah. So it, it's because I was like, what, what, 
why do I keep hearing a gong? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I said, they good good place if you're if you're local to North Carolina or you're, or you're going to be in North Carolina. It, it's an hour tour. Um, you know, we probably spent maybe two two and a half hours yeah, there. Yeah, we, we enjoyed they got the a, bar. They, and yeah, they've got a nice gift shop. Um, so yeah, definitely pay them a visit. Good bourbon, man. It's really good. So yeah, it looks like we're both going to give it a three. Uh, I definitely like the bottle and bond better, but uh, but this is good, and this the single barrel is what what we fell in love with to begin with. Yeah, you know we 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 bought that Lincoln County Select single barrel, right? And we were like, that's good stuff. I mean, I bought it just because I'm trying to support my local companies, right? And, and then when we cracked it open, we were like, that's some good Damn, shit. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, I fell in love with it immediately. That's that's good stuff. All right. Sweet. Well, let's put our socials up there. I'll let you tell them where they can catch us, and then we'll, uh, we'll, yeah. yeah, Bourbon Buzz and Ballin'. We got a YouTube channel, um, Bourbon Buzz and Ballin', PR at gmail.com for emails. We appreciate all feedback, emails. We love the interaction. Of course, we're on Instagram and then uh, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, we usually have two or three, you know, going up each week. Um, so, and uh, we got the two split split the episodes between the sports talk and the rate that shit on YouTube and and the podcast. So yeah, we need you to we need you to like that that all of our socials follow and like it. Um, we're trying to grow our TikTok followers to a thousand. We'd like to go live and start yeah doing some live. I'd shows. like to do the live when we do go do the one at Southern Distilling. I I would love for that to be a live. Yeah, one. that would be cool and, and interact cool. with with the crowd that's there and. So, yeah, that would be a lot of fun. So, yeah, hit that like, follow, and share button. And, uh, sweet. Yeah, I think that wraps up another episode of Rate That Shit. So, Rate That Shit. And, uh, I guess we'll try to get the, uh, the 92 proof one for next we're week. Doing next week. Yeah, and then that way we can go Grab ahead and knock out all three of the Paragon series and, and we'll see which one we like the best of, of the three. Right now, the, the bottle and bond is winning, so we'll see if the if the ninety two just their straight Kentucky bourbon can can sneak in there and steal the win. Edge out the bottle and <laughs> bond. I kind of don't think it will though. That bottle and bond was good. Yeah, it is good. Is that was that what you were sipping on tonight? Yeah, that's, oh, okay. that's what's in here. Okay. Oh, that, that's, that's it right there. <laughs> yeah, this was right there. Well, you definitely was able to compare the two. Okay. Yeah, it, it definitely bottle and bond is still. Really good, yeah. high quality. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, yep. we'll see y'all. Cheers. Cheers.